Hey there, everybody. Uh, so I was going back to Jeremy to speak to, to speak to the jeweler dude, and I decided to rest at uh, Vidna. And this is happening. <laughs> so figured I might as well start the episode now. And uh, you know, whatever this is, we're having another dream, I guess. Oh, is it? Now are we talking to Papa as well as Mammy? Oh, she's growing up healthily. Much healthy. Much growing. And made wonderful friends. I mean, yeah, Piku. Piku, Piku. I wasn't expecting this to happen. So, uh, you know, kind of unprepared. But here we are. It's me! It's -a me, Mario, your papa! <laughs> I have problems. It's. Is it you, father? Well, there's two lights! What do you think? Yes, they're watching over you in heaven because they're. No, I'm not gonna say that. Yeah, we will find them, young wilderness child. But, well, trapped in eternal darkness, that, uh, that makes it to where you can't see anything because it's eternally dark. Through your pure heart in your... Mm, I don't know how that works. I don't think that's how mental communication works. Of course, that means I think that mental communication works at all. Um... Father, don't go away. Oh no, it's blinking. I know this is probably supposed to be a very heartfelt scene, but it came out of nowhere and I wasn't ready and she's crying now and I feel bad. I feel bad. They're going to where the deepest mist is. That's where we need to go. And I don't know where that is. Probably the end of the game, most likely. And then we find out that her parents are actually the bad guys. So anyway, also, I was doing some reading on leveling the Seru, and I actually have probably been screwing up, and I probably should have been leveling them up this whole time, which, I mean, duh, you know, and I haven't been. My fault, I know, but... So I'm going to try at some point soon to get some levels on some. Uh, I don't know where or how or, you know, but like there's... Like I, and I was also looking up how it works. So the way these work is they all fall into different categories, but the same thing applies. They, they need specific experience points to get up to the next level. And how they get that experience is based on, like, say, Vera. It can get anywhere between 4 and 12 experience per cast. Let's say Vera heals at a certain point 256 damage. The closer you are to that 256 threshold, the more experience the, uh, the thing gets. And I'm sure with damage ones, it's based on, you know, how much damage you do. And status effects ones are if you can do a status effect. So, to get to level 9, like a level 9 Vera, which is where I have the main character working on, it was like 500 and something experience. So that's, say you get 12 experience per cast, that's at least 50 casts of it getting the maximum experience. I don't see that happening, 
but we will get it eventually kind of thing. Now, there is once... I need to sneeze. Give me a second. Uh, all right. Back from sneezing. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, right, right, right. So there's one spell that Naito, where it apparently in one of the bot, like the Berserker boss, you could have outright killed it with this spell. I didn't know that. So, yeah, we've got some spells leveled up. I don't. Eh. We got a long way to go. I don't really know how this is all going to work out, shake up and all that. But we need to get the Star Pearl. That's all I know. And this guy supposedly has it. So, hello. We need the Star Pearl, sir. Sally, can I ask you something? What? D do you know about the Star Pearl? Huh? Avela, you can't just ask out of the blue like that. I have blue. <laughs> like me. <laughs> yeah, I know of the Star Pearl. In fact, it's right here. Da -na -na -na. Wow, neat. It's the Star Pearl. Can I have it, please? Uh, of course you may. I have no use for it. Here you are. Oh, well, that was easy. Uh, a shifty-looking female palmed it off on me. It has no value as a precious gem. I would have never thought so. So I would never have thought something like this would make someone so happy. Yeah, she's flapping around like a chicken. That means she's she's super duper happy. Thank you so much, everyone, from the bottom of my heart. Well, now that we have that, we can uh go somewhere. Huh. It's also a, uh, a, a... Oh yeah, we also have that. Forgot about that. Forgot that we had the crown that gives us another AP accrual by 10%. Just it bad? But I think... Is that... Is that as good? Um, didn't I get another Guardian Jewel? I did. Bro, why do I have you just having that done? Oh, wind defense. I don't really care about that. Um, uh, uh, I mean, eh, eh, eh. May as well, I guess. Um, right. So where do we need to go now? Because I don't really remember. Uh, wait. Do we need to go back to Octum? No. We need to go to the... The, uh... The gate thing, the the, the the gate, the thing, the thing gate, the, the thing gate, we have to go there, gate thing, thing gate. Uh, I don't know where it is, unless that's what that is, or I can't remember. I need to start playing this game like more back to back to back. Um... Right, we need to go to, like, the whatever gate. Um, how much money do I have? Eh. Alright, let's go. I need to... I'm gonna buy a couple... I need to buy one more door of light. Or probably buy a couple. And I'm gonna buy some doors of wind, if we can. That way I can just zip-zop everywhere. Without having, like, you know, as much as walking around is really cool. Um, yeah, I kind of don't want to anymore. Um... That's depression. Don't want to go there. That is, I don't, I don't know. Is that just a house? I can't remember. Yeah, that's just a house. Everything has signs outside of it, me. There's no 
Re there we go. Yeah, this is where I want to go. <laughs> ha ha. Uh, this is the this is the dude. This is the dude. Y yes. So grab uh two two, and then I'll grab one of these. Actually, I'll grab one more because I'm spending one. I'm gonna go to Vidna and from there figure it out. Figure it out from there. Yeah. Because I really have no idea where I'm... I think we're supposed to go to the gate of a of oblivion, gate heart of heart of gate. I don't I don't remember. You know what I should do? I should probably save the game. I haven't saved the game yet. I should have. Didn't think about it. Seeing as we're like levels ahead and and whatnot and all that malarkey. Um, uh, where door of wind? Where are we going? Oh, it takes us literally anywhere. Um, let's go to Vidna, I guess, and we can figure out where we're going from there. We. I guess we can go back up north. Um, yeah, because so we need to find the the, the gate of hearts of the, the, the gate darkness thing. Uh, not too sure where that is anymore. I love it when nothing goes according to plan in a fight, because that's what happened. Nothing going according to plan. <laughs> We're gonna be getting to a lot more fights because I need to go up there and figure out where that. Hopefully, that tells me where the thing is because I think I have to go there. I do. I do think I do. Let's read the sign. The Shadow Gate. That's where I want to go. Is the Shadow Gate, and that is this way. So the Shadow Gate would be. That thing right there. I'm assuming. So, we have a long travel ahead of us. Many fights. It's going to be fun. Might not be fun, I don't know. Everyone's gaining all the levels, though. We're like, we're up to level 15 now. And, uh, he's probably gonna be up there soon. Yeah, he's got... 3,000 more experience. That's not going to take that long. Then 6k and 7k to get to the next level there. So, you know. Like 10. 15 battles. Maybe. Not that bad. Forgot to unpause as I was moving. <laughs> oh well, that happens. So, like, that supposedly got it full... ...experience, I guess? Not too sure how. But that probably gave it not as full experience. I don't know. We're just slowly working toward it. I need to work on Orb, though, because that one is everybody. And... I have a feeling AoE damage is going to be a thing from here on out. Um, so we're here at... Oh, what a letdown. Who's that? Oh, who are you? Okay. I finally get to see the Rosaru heroes who defeated Zito. Zeto, that guy. They turn out to be kids. Who are you? <laughs> Is it Gee Guy? Gee Deli 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 Deli? De oh, I think I think I think I'm having a stroke. <laughs> that guy at your service. <laughs> at your service. Okay. That Zito is pretty pitiful to let a bunch of brats like you defeat him. You. That's who you're wearing. 
Is this a bad person like Songi and Zito? <laughs> a bad person? Oh, brother. Uh, hey, blue-headed brat, you seem like to be the leader of this kindergarten class. Love the insults. Uh, it's- I'm the leader, it's a me! Actually, yeah, I'm the leader. Ah, I knew it. Well, let's see how good you are. Fight me one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, how- how come- how come you want- don't you want- why don't you fight her? Yeah, what- one-on-one -on -one combat isn't- is a de de deli -less family- Oh, this ni- Aw, oh, this name's gonna make me want to throw up. <laughs> I'll fight you later. Well, don't run away. Fight me. Bring it on, bitch! Uh, yep, prepare myself. I am prepared. Ah, hold her, brother. Oh, hello, uh... Ma'am and big guy. Quick whisper, Nivora Koru. I see. All right, I'll be right there. Yes, I see. What are you whispering about over there? What are you? <laughs> I love. It. Tell us what are you talking about because it's our business and not yours. What are you whispering about there? Who are you? Ooh. You want to know our names? <laughs> Very well. Yeah, it's that guy. Expert at delivering a fatal blow up to an opponent's body. I am Lou Deli... 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 Delilahs? Oh, oh, I strike with lightning speed. I am Trey Delius, brute strike and chaos are what I'm about. <laughs> they are Super Sentai. Um, no, they, they, they are, they, they're those guys. I thought we could play together, but now I don't have the time. I'll let you live for now, but next time I see you, I'll have your life. Cool, I guess. <laughs> Did you select what the... What are you doing? See, she, she, hey, you gotta practice your poses, man. You, you gotta... You gotta do it. Boo-hoo! Gotta practice them poses! What are we doing here? Alright, so now we've got a... This. This is where it comes into play. So that would be the east gate. Or the west gate. Uh... Touch the west key. The key west key is fire. Um, this is the north gate. And that would make it wind. No. Earth. I'm glad I wrote this down because I would be dumb dumb. East key. And that is wind. Wind. Clutter. Heart. Go planet. Uh, this one's water. And then everything should open. Look, it's moving! The stone is moving! This is so exciting! Oh, I don't know how exciting that is. What kind of internal mechanism is this? Is it going to, like, pollinate all over me? I don't want to step in that. I don't want to do it. Can't make me do Oh. The big stone flower opened. Hey, there's a chest over there. I, uh... I want that. The center of the stone flower. Some strange thing is moving. 
That must be the entrance to the path leading to underground Octum. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go get this treasure chest, though. <laughs> After we fight this fight. So there's at least Xenor level 2s around, so I can try and get that spell on a Vela. If we can, uh... Get her to absorb it. Now I want to look around and see if there's a chest in any other corner. But I'm probably going to get attacked. Anyway, no, there's nothing else here for getting attacked. There's also Gizam level 2s, and I need to get that spell on... On my... On a... a ba, 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 the big dude. <laughs> The big dude that's the only... Uh, know well that the Star Pearl opens the door to the past. Do you wish to throw the Star Pearl into the hole? Uh, I mean... Sure. Let's do it. We threw the Star Pearl into the... Uh, okay, yeah, let's... The door opened! I, I, you know, let's... Let's go through the door! What can happen? Everything can happen. Um, and here we are. Oh, uh, let's take a little bit of a look, looky around, see, I guess. Uh, we got two different ways. And we have... Long corridors. Very long corridors. This is going to make getting items a pain in the butt. We have a war man and a mush mush. Good old mush mush. He, uh, he makes me happy because he's a mush mush. Well, ow. It's going to be this kind of day, is it? Very well. Oh, I could add another. Um. Uh. Do I really want to go that hard? Well, he. I do get 10% more back. You know, let's see how well this works, actually. You know, I do want to go that hard. Sure. Let's see. Let's see what happens. He can probably fit another one in. Um, nope, not yet. Very well. Well, then that just happened. Oh, is that rot? Dang it. Also, the sound they make is terrible. Bruce, bring it. Give it to me. Um, right. They have rot. That's not okay. Um, yeah. Poopy. But when we come back, we'll continue exploring. I'll try and figure out if we know a way that we can go. And if we're going to be able to have enough, uh, you know, magic to uh, <laughs> make it to the end. Because these guys hit kind of hard. Um, anyway, so till then, you all take care. And of course, have a good one.